Rob. here. She says hi. James says hi. Rob, the whole got my whole staff here. We'll see you, buddy. Thank you. Adios. Love you. Bye bye. Okay, we're gonna bring up our next speaker, and we have in the house. There she is. She's already up. Who the technology behind me is good. They're on it. <laughs> Tina call now. Tina, thank you for being on. So not everybody knows you, uh, but so tell everyone where are you from. How long you've been in real estate? You know a little bit about your background prior to, and how long you've been at EXP. Let's we'll start with a little bit of background on Tina Call. Yeah. So, um, so again, Tina Call from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I've been in Raleigh ten years, but I grew up in Michigan. I've been in the industry for twenty years selling real estate full time. It doesn't so, look like it. Well, you know, real estate's been good to me, but I started. <laughs> at Started at 22. I'm 42 uh, this year. So I made it 20 years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been, um, uh, when I moved here 10 years ago, I started with Remax and I was there eight years. I loved it. Um, I joined Keller Williams for a couple of years. And then, you know, a friend of mine brought me EXP. I couldn't look away. And so in April of 2019, I joined EXP. So about 16 months ago. Okay, so you've been in EXP for 16 months. You and I had the same journey, Remax, then Keller, and EXP. I'm 24 yeah. years here, 22, 20 years. So wow. we had very similar parallel stories. And I love my experience at Remax, love my experience at Keller Williams. Grateful to both companies. If you're out there watching, we love you. And then, um, then we came to EXP. A lot of people know my story. So you got here just 16 short months ago. Yes. Tell us what your experience has been. Uh, has it meant something to you? Has it been ho hum? Just was it like Remax and, and Keller, but now it's EXP? Or what's different and what has happened for you? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, people move brokerages for different reasons, right? So depending on their business at that point, I came to Remax just because it was one of the bigger names in town. I was new in the area, didn't know a soul 10 years ago. So I joined and it was great. They kind of leave you alone. They put you in the corner and say, go sell some homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the only reason I left, I was still happy, but I left because financially I was at a crossroad. I had sold 130 homes personally that year. I know. And so I had no work life balance. I was a workaholic. I know. Um, and so when you're looking to grow income and you're one person with my husband and, a, and an assistant, you need leverage, right? So you need to grow a team. And so I needed to take the eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year I was paying Remax and then position myself to where I could hire an operations manager, more staff to help me scale. And so I went to Keller because it could cap me and that made financial sense to me. Um, so when I was there, I started to build the team and we went from myself and two other buyer agents selling 170 homes to 10 agents. We're going to do 400 homes at 120 million at EXP this year. So we grew um, from Keller 72 million to 120 million. So the reason I came to EXP for me was I realized that as I was building this team, I truly wasn't gaining freedom. Financial freedom to me is more time, right? I knew how to make money. I knew how to make millions of dollars. Um, so you can be rich by earning money, but you can be financially free by creating wealth and wealth brings freedom. So I woke up one day and said, man, I'm just a really high paid employee of my business. That's it. I haven't built anything because my team is nothing without my production. And so I needed to learn how to create passive revenue streams. And so before I joined EXP, Brent, I probably never told you this, but I was actually going to buy a trailer park and I was going to invest a quarter of a million dollars and buy this park and create $15,000 a month in, in passive income. Sounds and I was going to, right? Right. I mean, it's not a sexy project, but it's, it's very profitable. And so I was going to do that twice. And I was going to create $30,000 a month in revenue and do this and, and have financial freedom. Um, before I did that though, a friend of mine said, Hey, look at EXP because you can become sort of like an owner and build your team and build EXP and create revenue streams that you never had access to before. And so, you know, I, I had been approached before for a couple couple times by different EXP agents that it just didn't resonate with me at the time. I wasn't ready. I wasn't open. Like you said, you got to find people that are open to the opportunity. Um, but because I had pain points and I was open and my key word was residual passive income, um, that resonated with me at the time. And so what I am surprised about, though, is 
you come for one thing, but you're so shocked by something else. And the something else I'm shocked about is that um, I'm able to download my brain into others, but they, they get to learn and grow. And we've created this community, this village of agents helping agents, helping agents, helping agents, right? I mean, it, it truly is a village. And when, when they say, you know, to raise a family, it takes a village. It, it takes a village to run a brokerage. You can't let one BIC and one team leader and one person help 300 people. Um, right. So what I found is at EXP for us, the 14 people I brought over turned into 300 people in 16 months. Wow. But now all of us are helping one another. So it's not all on me. It's all of us financially aligned together. So that's probably the coolest part of the experience so far is that I'm able to have that passion again of growth, which has been awesome. I love it. And um, that is a beautiful story. I want to roll it back though to when you started EXP. Do you remember when you started? A, were you nervous at all? B, did Heck people yeah. tell you you were crazy? Yeah. C, did you think, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to even sponsor anybody? I mean, yep. what was your, I mean, I remember kind of feeling nervous and, Freaked but I'm out. a pretty shot. If I fail, I'll just go back to wherever I came from, Remax or yeah. in my case, Keller Williams. What were your thoughts? I want to hear a little yeah, bit about so that. Um, for me, like I've always been a little bit of a risk taker because no risk, no reward, right? So my feeling was it's $149. I was leaving Keller anyway to go independent. So this was my last stop before going independent. So I really truly had nothing to lose, but my ego could be bruised, right? I could come to EXP, fail, not like it, change brands. Within two years, I went to Keller. Now I'm going to jump brands again. That goes through my what's mind. What are my, gonna look like? what's that going to look like? What are the customers going to think? What are my peers going to think? They're going to think well, I've what, lost my what mind. What did your customers think? Just on that note, did your customers care? Well, what's funny, Brent, when we moved from Remax to Keller, we called everybody and they kept saying, well, wh where were you before? Well, does call group going to shut down? They were confused that we were leaving, you know, call group. And so when we left when we left Keller to go to EXP, we didn't tell a soul. And it was the easiest transition. We just and changed the cared. logo. They nobody didn't care. Cared. Nobody Our cared. business went up, right? Well, we went the, up, agents, so. the agents will notice. And some of them will say, you're crazy. You've lost your mind. The agents notice. And you know what's funny is when I moved to, you know, when I moved to Keller, you know, I got a lot of fun, exciting, you know, things said to me. And then when I left, it was, you don't go, you're going to fail. It doesn't work. Recruiting is hard. They kept telling me recruiting is hard. You'll see. And I said, well, I'm not going to recruit. I, I'm, I'm going because I want the stock. I want the, 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 the camaraderie, right? And people at EXP seem to be having fun. Um, and what's funny is the first two top agents in the market called me within the first week of leaving. I mean, they yeah. basically said, well, one of them was Marty Hampton, who you know. And yeah. um, Number one Remax agent in the world calls you and says, "What are you doing?" And we tell me talk. more, right? We need to talk because she's a business person. She had been Is watching she still at Remax. No, she's at EXP now. I know. I know. I just had <laughs> yeah. to ask you. Well, I know, right? just put a little bow on that one. So That's right now but, she's you know. Now she's here. So, so what's funny is I didn't have to recruit. We're attracting people. You yes. know, our vibe is attracting agents. They want to be part of the culture. And, and 14 is not 440 or 1400. It's, it's 14. You attracted some agents and they tried. Now you have 300, but then yeah. you became 300. If 10 people in those 300 do what you did, you're going to have 3,000, right? You're going to- well, Exactly. I mean, in, in those 14, my 14 team, my team, I attracted 56 people in total in 16 months. So 56 yeah. agents, right? Turned into 300. But the reality is we did it together. Those 56 right. helped grow. Um, and, and each of them have these little teams. Each of them have these opportunities to, to now, grow. People here, they said, well, if you go to EXP, it might affect your sales. It might affect your sales. So let's talk about that. I think you mentioned it real quickly. Yeah. Your sales, and, and they say it might affect your sales. They mean that in a bad way. But they, they mean it in a bad way. The other way, I might I affect your sales. Like, are you crazy? Yeah. Like, we'll see. You'll be so distracted. You need to stay oh, in your yeah. lane. You know, it's like someone telling you you're a buyer's agent. Don't you dare become a listing agent. That's Stay right. in your lane. You're a buyer's agent. And then when you go to listing agent, you're like, oh, God, this is so much better. I can have a life. I'm not run yeah. all over town. You yeah. know, I can 
control. I got leverage. You got to list the last. And then it's like someone saying, well, you can't do that. Stay in your lane. Just sit there and lay eggs, you know, and, and make sales. So you mentioned you were at X number of sales at Keller Williams. And then yeah. what happened? Well, say that again. We were at in the 72 or it was 72 or 78 million total. And in the 16 months we've been at EXP, we will be close to 120 million this year. It affected your sales. It, it did. Honest. It did affect it. <laughs> it affected it in a positive way. Yeah, but it, is, um, it is nervous when people that you respect look at you and go, this is going to affect your sales and it's not yes. going to be good. They said the same thing to me. And yeah. here's what happened. Um, nine months after joining EXP, I smashed all my sales records I ever yeah. set yeah. at Remax and in, 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 at Keller Williams. I broke them all. I had my most profitable months ever at a yep. company nobody's ever heard of. Heard of. Right. The cons what were the consumer think? They don't care. They, they buy care. you. Yeah. If you think they're buying Berkshire Hathaway or Century 21 or Remax or Keller, you are, you got, you are obviously don't have a lot of experience yeah. in real estate. It's no. you, baby. You are the package. Yeah. Yeah, and is there, I think there's this collective consciousness of excitement, right? We all come into this with a renewed energy of opportunity. You have new opportunities set forth in your path and you go, okay, well now I can attract agents and align with them and grow this thing. Now I don't get glass trophies anymore. I get stock. I mean, just the two icon awards because I icon within a month. So if you're an agent out there and you sell in my market about 30 homes, the two awards I got made me $120,000 of stock in my account that's sitting there. Now, now I actually used 5% of each commission check and bought stock at a discount. And I have 13,000 shares of stock, which is today worth 540,000. Half so a million. Yeah. It's a half a million dollars in stock plus, yeah. stock, I mean, it's six, 700,000. That doesn't oh, include. Question. If yeah. you had stayed at your old brokerage without saying yeah. the name of the old brokerage, I might have mentioned yeah. it back, but, but yeah. if you stayed at your old company, yeah. 16 months went by, what would you have if you had stayed there? You'd have plaques and trophies, right? Yep. Well, I had, I had a stack of, they, they didn't even give you glass anymore. Every month you got a piece of paper, you know, yeah. and I just, I threw it in the, I mean, not to, to, to fuse what it was. I mean, I was proud of it, but it was just kind of like, here's another one. Here's it doesn't another pay one. the bills. It doesn't pay the bills. And so there was nowhere else to go. And I think here's the biggest thing for people like me that are driven. I was at Remax. I was the number one agent at Keller Williams. I was the number one agent at EXP. Now I'm, I'm, I'm attracting top agents. So Camardi's probably going to kick my butt this year. So I got to be on my best game. But most agents like me say, what's next? What's next for us? We need a yeah. what's next. And so this gives us the new challenge of how big can I grow this, right? How can I go to 50 states? Can I go international? That's what we want as driven entrepreneurs. What's next? And nobody could answer that for me. I can. I, I had three. James, remember when we had honey? James, Kathy, remember when we had 300 agents? I'm not your honey. Now I'm talking <laughs> honey's over there. That's my wife to my right. James is over here. I did not call James honey ever. <laughs> but like, hey, you dude or bro. Yeah. But, That's um, right. Do you remember when we had 300 agents? Absolutely. And then today, are we in all 50 states? All 50. Every yeah. province of Canada? Every province. That's, that's open. open yeah. That's open for you. Right. Australia, the UK, and we're about to go and see. It's crazy. What, it's going to happen. It's and it's so going to happen for me. It'll. Yes. And I tell people, they're like, well, look at Brent. And look, Brent's got time on us. He's got three years. You got three more years than I have. Call me in three years and we will be in all 50 And states. I have movie star good looks. I know. Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> face and body. You're so I, handsome. Know. And that's you why you recruit. Like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just your handsomeness. That's what recruits yes, all yes, these. My, my yeah. animal magnetism. That's right. So, it's too funny. Um, yeah. I, I wrote this down though. Um, I had 15 agents on my team at Keller yeah. and I paid 27,000 a year. They paid half caps, which you think yeah. half caps. Seven would be thirteen five. 13, so now yeah. a half cap was eighteen thousand. So if you multiply fifteen times eight thousand, I was paying two hundred seventy thousand a year to Keller Williams yeah. plus my twenty seven. You right. add, uh, let me see, you add that in here, and boom, two hundred and ninety seven thousand a year is what I was paying to operate my team. Yeah. I never, I was there eight years. I never got the twenty seven thousand back I paid in. Yeah. Every year, the 16,000 cap, which is a less, giving me more money for marketing, 
16, I get back in the icon award and then yeah. that, that award double, triple, quadruple, all that. Like, well, yeah, but that was then. Now the stock set 40. I'll go, you guys, in five years, 43 shares are going to sound like a fire sale. It is I so agree. exciting. I agree. It's very exciting. And you know, when you think about the, the tech companies, the true tech companies, Amazon and Uber and Netflix and Airbnb doesn't own real estate. I mean, we are right there with the giants. Um, it's just the next phase of real estate. I love this when, when Michael Valdez talks about during COVID, we literally didn't get on a plane and we expanded to five countries from our laptops. Like if that's not scalability, if that's not excitement, that's crazy. It's crazy. So uh, I was by, the, by my pool, the waterfall out in California, yeah. the palm trees, and I'm on my laptop and it's just booming. It's yeah. so exciting. And um, when I was at my old brokerage, we'd all meet each other and help each other. But I go back to my room and then Tom Daves, who was the number one Keller Williams agent seven know, times. Yeah. And he kept saying six times and they sent him a letter saying, if you, you better stop saying six times, we'll, we'll sue you. We'll, we'll see you in court. Yeah. And he went and found all his trophies that said number one worldwide. It was actually seven times. Seven. And he said, yeah. actually, from all the trophies, he says, well, <laughs> if I wasn't, it's your error. And he never right. heard back from him. They didn't say boo. But he was number one in the world seven times wow. in the next 17 years. When Tom did all that, what did it mean to my fi family financially? Didn't mean boo. And okay. so your company now an agents excel in New York and oh, Florida. It's exciting. And Ontario and British Columbia yes. Canada, and Alaska. EXPI thrives. And if they thrive, my stock, right. your stock, the, our yes. words, we thrive. So right. it means something if someone sells 500 homes a year in San Diego or yes. South Dakota. We One team, one dream. It's that EXP love boat. I love it. Okay, so I want to transition on you a little bit. Yes. We were talking earlier this week, and of course, people see you. Well, yeah, she's super successful, and Brent had a team, and, and he did well. You know, but could somebody new do this? Well, you were telling me about Jennifer, and, yeah. and I don't want to say her wrong, last name wrong. How do I say her last name? Cervera. Cervera? Cervera. Yeah, Jennifer Cervera. Cervera. I got it right. Jennifer yeah. Cervera. James wrote on a piece of paper, and he, the, the R looked like a C, so I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Jennifer Cervera. Oh, she's here. She's, she's here. here. <laughs> coincidentally. Wow, what a coincidentally. She, coincidentally, she happens to be on here. Now, Jennifer is, I think, newer to real estate than we are. So, Jennifer, welcome. Yes. How do we get her to be Thanks. the big gallery picture right now? Right now, do we hit gallery or leave it like this for recording? Okay. So, Jennifer, we, for recording this, we can't, but um, welcome. Good to have you here. Yep. Good to be here. Yes. Oh, there you are. Now I can see you. Um, if you shifted, you were a little tiny square on my computer. It shows you how techy I am. I don't even know how I this I know, works. you're so techy. <laughs> Sounds like us. <laughs> I'll let Tina introduce you. Tina, tell us a little about who Jennifer is okay. and what she's done and how long, and then Jennifer, we want to hear from you, but first kind of explain who she is and what she's about. Yeah, so um, so I met Jennifer about a nine, or 10, 11 months ago. She was a newer agent. She had been on her own for a year and she was kind of looking, I think what intrigued her was mentorship, you know, to come she always says success leaves clues. So if I could work alongside you, Team Call, that would be great. And so she joined my team and I, she didn't have one aspiration of recruiting or anything. She wanted to learn how to sell real estate in a high volume. And what was interesting is within that 10 months that she's been here, she has been attracting agents. And when you think about Jennifer, you know, she's a little couple years in the business. She attracted, I think, seven agents that now has turned into a team of 35. She's buying her first home, which is going to be, she could afford probably a million dollar house today and EXP would pay for it monthly. Thank you, Rev so, Share. That is cool. On her Rev Share. So I just am so proud of her because now she has skipped the trajectory of, okay, Brent, you and I are 20 years in the business. We can go open up a Remax now and be owners. She's that an owner today. Step, right? That yeah, was the next step. Yeah. yeah. So she, her trajectory goes from agent to owner to shareholder to immediately wealth building. I love wow. that. I love that. So Jennifer, how old are you? You look very young to me. Well, thank you for that, friend. <laughs> because you look so young, I'm going to ask. I'm 32. I'm 32. 32. You look like you're 26. You look like you're 26. Well, thank and, you for and, that. And, and I know Tina said, but I was distracted by something. About how, how long have you been in real estate? 
two years. This is two my years. second year, mm -hmm. starting in 2018. Um, so this will be my second year. You're doing so good. So how do you, you were, you were at the old company and now you made the switch to eXp with Tina, right? Right, right. So it's, um, it's interesting how things, you know, kind of play um, a, a long brand. I, I feel like when you put out your intentions in the world and when you are fo laser focused on it and, you know, what you focus on expands, right? So it's kind of interesting because Tina and I were at the same previous brokerage. We didn't knew each other then, though. And I remember I went to the big annual award ceremony for my previous brokerage and I saw her name and Tina called and she made 80 million in volume, you know, and just, well, just, you know, so well known here and so many things. And, you know, when you are someone with drive and with aspirations and being so new in the business, right, just one year, I was like, well, if I can just get to know her and learn her secrets and, you know, get, let her know how I can get so good as um, to what she's doing now, that would be the world. Well, you know, as, as the world will have it and, you know, you when you want something, the universe conspires for it, right? We all know that. So um, fast forward three months, um, and, you know, later and, you know, I made Tina call and she was in the process of um, transitioning to EXP. I'm not sure. I think that she had already made the decision. It wasn't quite announced yet, but we had a meeting and she said, you know, this is this is what I'm shooting for. This is what's coming next for me. And the reason for is because because I feel like, you know, even if it's someone as new as me or someone that has been 10 years in the business or 20 years in the business, I feel like for the most part, you, you know, you all start experiencing the same pain points as she just said. And so would she, she showed me the video, I remember the EXP Explain video, and she said, what do you think of this? And I said, well, you know, gosh, I don't know if this is because I'm so new to it. But this looks awesome. This looks like I want to be part of it. You know, right. to, to be able to have there exactly to be able to have the opportunity of you know coming to with this new model and it's what's you know here to stay and, and we continue to see how it grows year over year and I can only you know wait to imagine what you know it's gonna be here for us when I saw it and I was like I, I believe in the business so first and foremost when I saw the business model I loved it I, I thought that it was a great opportunity for me to to you know tag along and and yeah. you know make that dream of mine a reality to be able to to be in business with her so then my my next thing was do I want to be on a team or do I want to be an independent agent my thing was like I, I had done my fair share on the buy side and I wanted to learn how to list homes and sell and sell with good good systems and a good volume right so that I, I decided that I wanted to join the team and um and but but this time, joining a team had a different feeling for, this, for, for the following reason. Before, I always thought that if I join a team, well, I don't want to strain that relationship when the time comes, if I ever want to leave, right? Because my mentor poured everything into me, and now I'm going to feel terrible leaving and knowing that she's going to have to start all over again. Well, with EXP, it was different because I understood that even if, you know, if the time ever came and I was going to transition, because we were financially aligned, that was always going to be there and to stay. So yeah. from there on, I joined um, EXP, um, you know, on, on Tina's team, and I loved it so much. I remember we went to um, the EXP conference in Vegas, and when I saw you and when I saw everyone else talk, my financial cap just raised one again, you know, once again, and it exploded. So when I came back, I said, well, you know, maybe if they, if they've been doing it, maybe I can do it. You know, maybe this is an opportunity that's there for me too. Not and so what I did, guys, right? Exactly. So your eyes open real, real I big. Did. Exactly. So what I did was I started talking to the people that I, that I knew, that I knew from my previous brokerage and just from, you know, I feel like to be able to be good in sales, you have to be a good connector. You have to be able to just have a conversation with people and come from taking a genuine interest in them. And, and you know, that, that's all it is. And so, um, you know, gratefully enough, I have done that um, in the past that when I transitioned and I started having these conversations, 
you know, five people raised their hand and then two other more people raised their hand. And I understood that it was because it wasn't what was in it for me. It was about, you know, them having the opportunity of grow and them having the opportunity to collaborate and to join forces with the bigger teams in our area, you know, the Tina Coles, the Sharon Evans, the Marty Hamptons. And I still, you know, I still pinch myself friend to be completely honest of how grateful I am you know two years in the business and I'm learning from the very best and wow. so I think that you know if you if you are able to understand that and if you're looking for the people that are looking for you because I always say you know I I, I do not recruit I attract people I want to be in business with people that want to be in business with me and you know and the interesting thing is that here I am you know just two years in the business but I'm attracting 30 million million dollar producers, $40 million producers that I have, you know, obviously doing more than I'm doing, but it's about that, you know, it's about creating those connections, that collaboration that EXP has that, you know, I, I just don't see any other brokerage that has Beautiful. it. And, and that's just, you know, what, what so I see out there. You're, you're authentic, you're real, you're excited, you're coming from the heart. It's what's in it for them, not me. As a byproduct, there's some beautiful things in it from you. And that's the ultimate sure. way to win. Now, here's the funny, 80% of success is people's psychology. Yeah. I, we have you on here as somebody new who's doing well, attracting 30 and $40 million producers and all that. People right now going, yeah, she's got this cool accent. I love it, right? Like, I don't have a cool have an Australian accent or English accent or, or uh, this, like, you have a beautiful accent. They're going, that's why. She, I mean, you're always trying to tell yourself why you can't do something. Right. I love the old Henry Ford quote. He says, if you think you can, you probably can. Mm -hmm. And if you think mm -hmm. you can't, you're probably right. And, and so we're always kind of, you know, so just this is the next. Welcome yeah, exactly. to the next. And uh, exactly. we are so thrilled. Take a chance on us. Take a chance on you. Uh, the capital investment's pretty heavy, $149, but you'll survive. Exactly. <laughs> and it's, it's so cool. So final question, because we have to switch to Michael Valdez, sure, who is the yeah. vice president of international growth. He is the man. We are so lucky to have him. You're all about to meet him. He's going to talk about South Africa. He's going to talk about Mexico and these other countries we're going into this year and kind of how to do it right, how to do it wrong. <laughs> so we don't, you don't do it that way. And so we're about to have him on, but just final question. I'm going to start with Tina. Tina, you know, you, you were at Remax, you were at Keller, now you're at EXP. Is it just, you know, Keller, uh, Remax, Keller, EXP, Cobalt Banker? Is it just like a, what's the difference? Is, is there a, a tangible difference without yeah. any putting, and we love Keller Williams and Remax. We are the, but, but what is the honest difference you feel? You got like 30 seconds. How can you encapsulate that? So, so I always say there's five pillars. You've got leads, training, rev shares, stock, and healthcare. So every other brokerage is gonna promise leads and training, but guess what, you're missing these three. So as go. an entrepreneur, you gotta add, keep adding opportunity to your business. I like it. Don't right? be a man or a woman on stilts. It, they always right. look like they're gonna fall over. So right. have, the, have the five, that's, that's beautiful. Five Jennifer, pillar. how about you? What's the difference just, is there a difference? Is it the same? Is there really, it's okay if there's not, tell us. Absolutely not. It's being able to learn from the people that have done it and have gone before you. It's being yeah. able to have that, you know, that playbook open and being able to have that collaboration that, you know, I, I don't think that that exists at any other brokerage. And awesome. so I, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about what, you know, our firm and what our brokerage has to have. Yeah. There isn't another brokerage at EXP. That's and I, cool. I mean that whether you're a year, five years or 20 years in, the, in this business. I love it. And people say, well, I could do that at any company, but here's the deal. I'm going to fight for you, Jennifer, and this is the first time I've ever met you. I'm going to help you do well, because if you do well, Tina does well. And if well, Tina I, does well, you know, you Michelle does. Does, right? <laughs> no, no, the, right? I the know, whole team, yeah. instead the of just, it is, you know, if we were in a franchise, the OP does well, and then the owner of the region does well, and the regional manager does well, and then Dave Linegar and all that, and, and Gary Keller and, and Rilogy and Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett. I think he's okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so this is for us, go for us. Welcome to the next. You guys were great guests. Tina, Jennifer, thank you very much. You. And uh, we'll see you guys in Cabo San Lucas in February. Yes! That'll be fun. fun. In person. I'll see you there. You Love guys. you guys. All Thanks, right. Friend.
Bye. Bye. Okay, so next. And, uh, and so we're going to transition. Let's go ahead and bring up our next speaker. We have Michael Valdez. He is the Vice President of International for EXP 